Hello everybody, welcome to Ageless Rock. Today, I'm going to show you a relatively unknown megalithic site in Israel. It is called Hovat Cave and is located in Adulam Grove Nature Reserve. Hovat Midras is near to the mysterious bell caves in Biet Gurvin and Luzid. They are tourist spots not to be missed if you are in Israel on vacation. Within this walking distance, you can see the columbarium and tombs hewn into bedrock. There are many questions with no answers here. It is believed that the civilization responsible for this existed 2,500 years ago. Archaeologists came back here for the second time in 2017, but this time they were armed with scientists to determine who built these monuments. Let's start off with the stepped pyramid of unknown origin. This 10 meters by 10 meters monument is a mysterious site. Who could have guessed that Jews were once interested in pyramids like those in Egypt? There are plenty of small square pyramids in China. What are the odds that ancient civilizations were at one time obsessed with pyramids made from the hardest and heaviest material they could ever find? As a rolling stone at the entrance, at first glance it looks like it must be a door, but it is blocked at the top. Therefore, it is useless as a door. If this is a door, you need to have the strength of a giant and the size of a teenager to use this as a door. This rolling stone seems like a door, but it is blocked at the bottom. Even if it can be rolled, it will be too heavy for anyone to close it. You need a few bodybuilders to open and close this circular stone door. This object may seem uninteresting to anyone who walks past. However, if you think about it, it comes with many questions. Who used an enormous circular stone with a square hole 2,500 years ago? Circular stones are all over the world. They are found with little or no connection for its use. We just made up a reason why it is there. Stone wheels in Damrajeshwa temple in India is still a mystery. Stone wheel in Oriente Tambo, Peru is a mystery. Daringkuyu in Turkey has plenty of stone wheels but we don't know why it is there. After ancient Jews chiseled a huge cave, they stacked megalithic blocks that were so precisely cut there is no gap between the blocks. So why then did they even bother to chisel the cave in the first place if they are going to close it anyway? Look at this photo. It looks like a tomb, therefore it is a tomb. If this is in China, there would have been Buddha statues. If this is in India, there would have been Shiva statues. In Israel, it is a tomb even when there is no bone to be found. Our first impression of this photo is it looks like pigeon holes. Therefore, ancient Jews made it for pigeons. I don't think so. These were not chiseled for pigeons in ancient past as what archaeologists suggest because they are on the ceiling upside down. It is a hundred times more difficult to carve holes so high compared to pigeon's holes made from wood. There are hundreds of columbarium caves in this area alone. Supply would have exceeded demand for pigeon eggs and meat production. If these are suitable for birds to nestle, where are the birds today? Would you make pigeon holes with a slope facing down where the eggs can drop? Even the pigeons are smart enough not to use them. Mainstream versions of pigeon holes are found in megalithic sites all over the world. In China, it is called niches for Buddha. In Petra, it is called columbarium, though we have no clue. In Italy, it is called pigeon holes too. Bell Caves in Israel is a mysterious rock-cut structure that has baffled scientists until today. They have tool marks similar to Longyu Caves in China. They are not machines of ancient days. These are highly advanced technology we do not have today. The design of bell cave for quarry makes no sense. The tip would eventually be too weak to hold the weight of the top. You need to haul the massive amount of rock up through the hole with a rope is ridiculous. The mines today are always like a funnel shape. Materials are driven or hauled up on a slope. 
The bell shape is typically a bunker or secret hideout where you do not want your enemies to know. Somewhere in history, there was an earthquake that exposes the minerals. Based on that discovery, bell caves should have been around for no less than 12,000 years. There are many triangular and rectangular holes carved on boulders, similar to those around the world. Caves with arches and pillars that leave no trace of who was here remain a mystery for you to solve. There are also tunnels connecting the bell caves. This is definitely some kind of underground dwelling before modern Homo sapiens came along. By the way, I noticed the tunnel is rather smooth. Wonder why would anyone make a tunnel smooth if it is just a quarry? Can you call this a tomb just because it feels like it? Where are the bones? Do you know how difficult it is to carve bedrock into cave if it is even possible to do with soft ancient chisels? Look at the carvings on the ground. Do they look like something out of this world in terms of design and technology? Let's take a look at some rock cut carvings. Does the structure in Petra in Jordan look similar to you? I tend to see some similarity in design and style between Hovat and Petra carvings. How about comparing Hovat and another rock cut monument in Asuka, Japan? Do they not look like something of megalithic culture? If these carvings are found in religious sites, Mainstream will be quick to conclude this as water tanks for ritual bathing and baptismal purposes. However, when they are found in places with no religion attached to their story, it will be just left as insignificant and unimportant. Well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy my short presentation on Hovat Midras in Israel. And see you next time. Lahitraot!